Today I'm in the technical lab in our UK headquarters in Oldham, Manchester. So let's get started. We've got the SADP tool from Higvision and I'm going to take you through a tour of some of the features. Right, my setup. I have got an IP recorder, I've got a PoE switch with some cameras, one plugged in the rear of the recorder and the other two plugged in the PoE switch. They're all connected through Cat5 cable, Ethernet cable, and finally I'm connecting my laptop up to the final port of the switch. Right, first thing we need to do is, is go and get SEDP tool. It's quite straightforward really. Um, we just I'm going to just Google it to be fair, uh, if I spell it right, SEDP tool. Uh, normally the first link is the one directly to the Hikvision website. Suggest you get it directly from there. And you'll see up there there's a download link, fairly straightforward. Just click on it. I've got the current version and it'll be downloading it. Uh, once it's downloaded it, I'm going to install it. Uh, I've already done that for us so I can skip this step. And I'm just going to run it now. So when we run it, we see what I've got set up really. I've got one inactive camera another camera on the network and I've got my recorder which does have a camera plugged into the back. But the first thing I'm going to do is just going to activate this one camera. Um, suggest you know, using a strong password and also suggest that you try not to forget it because it can be a little bit tricky to, to reset it. Uh, but we've got other videos in the section that will show you how to do that. So I'm just going to activate it now. It's just enabled and at this point I quite frankly could just go and change the IP address, which I will do. I'm going to put it in my network range, which I'll explain in a second. Uh, I'm just going to give it 50.60. I'm also going to make sure the gateway address is right. Um, again, I'll explain that in a minute. And of course, I've got to re-enter the admin password. And there we go. That should be quite happy about that. And there we go. So complete. And you'll see that it's just refreshed, it's enabled, and it's got a nice new IP address. All right, we mentioned the, the our IP range. Best thing to do really is hit the window key and start typing command. We'll get the command prompt up, and I'll type the words IP config. And up tells me what my IP address is, and also the gateway and the subnet mask of my current network. So it's always good to verify that. This is my setup, but yours might be different. So I'm just going to cancel that because I don't really need it anymore. Right, the next thing we're going to do on SEDP is um, right, setting static IPs is all very well good and very well recommended for a camera that's sitting on the network. And I've already got one here. If I wanted just to change the range of it or change its own IP address, it would be quite simple enough to just put that in there. And we could put that down as 17. Uh, double checking the subnet mask and gateway is okay and as long as I knew what the admin password was I could quite frankly just go and change the IP address of that recorder. Uh, if you want to do multiples it's quite straightforward you can if you have lots of cameras in here you can click a number of them and put the start IP address and you're, you're asked to enter a little bit more information in this um, so I'm going to start at 20 um, ports 8000 and the subnet mask, we have to comply with all these things to make it work properly. And the gateway, of course, we knew what it was from previously. Well, as previous suggest you get this from the IT. Uh, HTTP port is port 80. Um, it's quite an advanced feature, really, but it's always worth knowing. And um, what we're going to do is just enter the admin password. And we'll, it's saying, ready to modify confirm and away it'll go and it'll set them both up to 20 and 21 so you can quite happily go and add them to your recorder now the other thing you can do from here is if this recorder has been bound to hit connect account you can unbind it from here and if you just take that box there it'll say you need the admin password please i'm going to put that one in there here's the one that's highlighted there quite difficult to see uh, but I think we've got that right. And unbind succeeded. There you go. So this is now no longer a Hit Connect enabled recorder. We would have to go and do that manually. Uh, the other thing you can do with this, uh, of course, is you can export 
some of the, the details. So if you've got a large list of cameras or recorders on the network, you can just go export some details and you can go and go my camera list and it'll export it as a CSV file for you to go and look at and import into Excel or something like that. So that's another useful tip. Right, we're almost done with this. Uh, just to remember, there's a, there's a few other details within SEDP tool that you might want to be interested in having a look at. It does show you the software versions here. Uh, you can move that around and have a look at it in a bit more detail. All the network parameters are in there and uh, the MAC address is also there. So if you need to go and find a camera on the network and you need to identify it exactly, that's where it is. And just about the final thing to, to mention about the SEDP tool, is if you get the IP address and you double click, it'll take you to a login prompt on your network browser. And we can just enter in our admin username and password. And we'll get straight to the configuration pages. And if you're lucky, we'll get some um, some live cameras up. Um, but it's fairly straightforward. I, I hope you enjoyed that. I can just close a few things down now. Uh, and uh, thank you very much.